Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got one that isn't in line with what I had intended when I first created Off the Water because obviously I'm on the water. But in order to do this video, this is where I need to be because we're talking about stakeout poles and more so shallow water style ones. And uh, this right here is a DIY project that myself and a buddy of mine, RX Angler, uh, Y'all may know him, for those of you that consistently watch my channel. Um, we took a power pole, the Heavy Duty Spike, and they're 8 feet long. We cut it in half, so this is 4 foot, and it is absolutely perfect for skinny water style marsh fishing from a kayak because I'm going to go over towards this bank right here and show y'all exactly what it is that I do. Now, I, I have fished from a Hobie Outback and everything else. I don't even know why I'm mentioning that because it's not like that's what I use this for. Uh, this right here is strictly used on the Autopilot 120, which is what I've been for, what it's. I think it's been like a year now because February last year in 2020, that's whenever I started fishing from this platform. But, um, I did have the full-size power pole. What I did not like about it is that it makes an absurd amount of noise and that motor spooks redfish whenever you're in the shallow water. So I had to figure something out for it and this right here was the next best thing. So as y'all can see, I've got holes right up here and this right here because I'm fishing an average depth of about two feet of water. I'm gonna be able to let this go down and then there we are. It's already at the bottom. I can stab it and have plenty of room. It's not gonna be obtrusive. So right up here in front of me, I don't have to worry about staking out with a massive six, eight foot pole somewhere around there. And then there's gonna be a lanyard hooked to your kayak with an anchor trolley so that you can kind of fix your direction. All I gotta do is turn the Minn Kota on, which let's do that right now i'm probably yeah i'm in the mud with it so i'm, I'm not going to be able to shift my weight around but just to prove the point on why this is the absolute best and most versatile style stakeout pole let's do this okay so some of you ask why don't you just use the autopilot to like hold your position i mean i could if i wanted to but sometimes it's just not beneficial. So I've got the autopilot on right now. You can see that it's facing towards the port side, the left side for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with naval terminology. And what we're gonna do is shift the kayak towards a direction that I wanna be in. Now, obviously this isn't the idea what like situation that I'm trying to do because we have a lot of current coming from behind us and then just pushing us this way. But if I wanted theoretically to face a particular position, I would just turn the kayak on. And with the stakeout pole right in the middle, I can do that. So the possibilities are endless. You could do the same thing with a power pole, but that's gotta be mounted way back over here where I got that power pole quick release mount. It's again, it's just not the situation that I like. Whenever I would reach back on the back uh, portion of my cast my lure would hook on that pole because it just it sticks up way too high and it's not something that I wanted to do so this guy right here as I'm trolling along inside the bank I'm able to grab it because I have it laying down right here inside the kayak and I can just stick it right down the mud is very soft so if I was worried about the pole being like right in front of my cast, then that's going to be a bummer. But what I can also do is take it and there's some scupper holes back here. Y'all see that right there? Right behind the seat. I got two scupper holes that I can utilize. Now let's just say hypothetically the wind is blowing, which it is blowing, but the current is coming this way so I can't shift the kayak. But if the current was going this way with the wind blowing this way and I wanted to face that way, then I would put that stakeout pole right here where I've currently got it. And 
my direction is going to be facing that way. If I want it to face the other way, you kind of get the idea. You have five holes up here and you got two scupper holes in the rear. The possibilities again are endless. That's why I say this right here, you don't have to buy a power pole, but this one is just perfect. It works out and I absolutely love what I'm able to accomplish with this thing. It is perfect. You could probably go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a fiberglass rod that's about the same thickness of this. I'm not even too sure what it is, but you can probably do that. Saw it in half, get about a four foot length. I've got duct tape right here just for a nice grip. I also have a GoPro mount, so uh, it doubles as a camera mount whenever I want to get a shot the full length of the kayak itself well I, I got the GoPro that can go on it if if I had the other end uh, of this little what do you call it the stake then it's got like a T handle with a quarter 20 thread that would allow me to be able to just put a GoPro a GoPro tripod mount on it and then you can screw it on just like that but uh, being that it was Nick's stake out pole um, he got the better end of the deal. So that right there is one of the absolute best. And it's a very cheap do-it-yourself style solution to uh, like being able to stake yourself out in the marsh. No need to go the other route and purchase something that got awful expensive. I've seen the ones from other brands. I won't even name them, but you all know who they are. You've probably seen them before and some of you may own some of those. I'm not saying that they're bad, but there's just really no reason to spend that kind of money. Get something that can fit through your scupper holes and there's not really enough current generated to the point that it's going to ruin your scupper holes. It's going to crack them. If it does, then you've probably got other issues that you need to deal with because the plastic should not be that thin on a kayak. Uh, these old towns are built like tanks, so I never worry about them cracking there in the scuppers. Again, there's not enough like current generated to bend that pole into the plastic where it rips it apart. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am glad that I was able to do this video because a lot of y'all have asked in the past because of my usage with the man I got that set up really high a lot of y'all have asked in the past hey you know why are you doing this why are you doing that they ask you have asked about the pole itself so you know why not I've got some time and uh, yeah that is what I'm using I highly recommend getting something that's similar in size it's not gonna get in your way and it'll allow you to fish similar to what I do now this ain't gonna be the solution for everyone because you may fish deeper water but as it stands I love doing this I'm out in the marsh a lot and the waters are just really really shallow so I can get away with doing something like this but uh, again thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all next time when I'm off the water